Hi, I'm Elijah, and welcome back to another Kenko webcast, your number one source for information on labeling and pricing products. Today, I'll be showing you how to properly load and maintain your XL Pro 1A series handheld label gun. If you find this video to be helpful, please click the like button below. The XL Pro 1A label gun is a well-built six-digit one-line pricer. With its reliable track record and simple repairability, you'll get many years of use out of this fantastic price gun. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with several key components of the gun. Let's pick up the gun with our left hand and take a look at the top. Right away, you will notice the print head and the adjustment dial. Below, you will see the label housing cover. On the right hand side of the cover is a label window for viewing your label roll. This hole also functions as a grip to open the label housing assembly. Let's take a quick look inside. Inside the housing assembly, below the print head, you will notice a blue body reinforcement bar. Here, you will see the label shaft. This is where the labels will rest when the gun is properly loaded. Rotate the gun to the front where you will see the ink roller assembly door. I'll be talking more about the ink roller assembly later on. Flip the gun to take a look at the bottom cover. Up above, we are going to see the pressure roller. This will help apply the label to your product. Below we have the bottom cover latch. Open it up to take a peek inside. Below the pressure roller, you will see the pressure plate. The pressure plate will help maintain consistent tension when the label gun is in use, giving it a smooth operation. When the pressure plate is fully extended, the loading path will be open. The tongue, which lies behind the pressure plate, is now in its fully open position. Below the pressure plate, we will see the advancing mechanism. Notice the sprockets on the wheel? The sprockets line up with the holes in the labels so that the advancing mechanism can feed one label every time you squeeze the trigger. Now that we are more familiar with the various components, let's learn how to quickly and properly load the XL Pro 1A series labeler. Let's start by opening up the label housing cover. Next, flip the gun over and open the bottom cover by lifting up on the latch below. Pull up the pressure plate to its fully open position. Failing to do this step will result the labels going through the wrong path. Grab the roll of labels and place it on the shaft of the housing assembly in a counterclockwise direction. These blank labels in assorted colors can be custom printed with your information and are available through Kenko at kencostore.com or by calling 1-800-86-KENKO. With all three doors open, you should be able to see the path through the center of the gun above the advancing mechanism. Begin feeding the labels into the rectangular cavity below the blue bar. Pull about three to four inches through then close the label housing cover to secure the labels. You'll want to be careful not to feed the labels around the pressure roller, as this would cause the labels to jam. With the labels coming out through the front, let's push the pressure plate back in. Fold the labels down toward the trigger and close the bottom cover tightly until it locks into place. After two or three squeezes of the trigger, your gun is ready to label. Now that the gun is properly loaded, we'll learn how to adjust the price. I'm going to show you how to adjust the dial on the print head. With the top part of the gun facing you, we'll use our left hand to hold the gun and our right hand to grab the adjustment dial. Let's change the bands to our desired price by turning the adjustment dial. To move to the next set of digits, simply pull the adjustment dial and the adjustment indicator will follow you to the digit you are currently adjusting. To dial in a blank space, simply rotate the dial knob to the white blank space when you have finished adjusting your label gun, be sure to push the adjustment dial back into the printhead and you're all set. Now that we know how to properly load and adjust the XL Pro 1A label gun, let's learn how to change the ink roller. On the front of the gun, we will see the ink roller assembly door. Let's open it up by pulling back on the latch. The easiest way to remove the old ink roller is by using extra label liner to pull the ink roller off of the ink roller assembly. Once the ink roller is removed, we will get a replacement ink roller from its packaging and snap it into the ink roller rod on both sides. Additional ink rollers can be purchased from KenkoStore.com. Now that we've put the new ink roller in, we just need to close the ink roller assembly door. Next, I'm going to show you how to adjust the print location if needed. For this part of the tutorial, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, size PH1. First, we'll need to loosen up the two printhead adjustment screws located on both sides of the printhead. You'll only need two turns in a counterclockwise direction to loosen up each screw. Take care not to loosen the screws too much as this may damage your pricer. 
Once the screws are loose, we can slide the printhead in the direction we need, either up or down. Then, we'll test it to make sure it's lined up properly. Once the printhead has been adjusted to your satisfaction, let's tighten the adjustment screws back up. You'll rarely need to make this adjustment more than once in the lifespan of your gun. Now that it's printing perfectly, we are ready to begin labeling. To label an item, simply pick up the gun, squeeze and release the trigger once, hold the price gun directly over the product, then just roll the label on your product and you're all done. This has been another Kenco webcast. For more information and outstanding prices on these products, visit us on the web today at www.kencostore.com or call us toll free at 1-800-86-KENCO. For more product videos and tutorials like this, go to www.kenco.tv.